Bereshit, Genesis 23. And Sarah was a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kiryat Arba. The same is Chevron in the land of Kinaan. And Avraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. And Avraham stood up from before his dead and spoke unto the sons of Cheth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Cheth answered at Avraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my lord, you are a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury at your dead. None of us shall withhold from you at his sepulchre, but that you may bury your dead. And Avraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Cheth. And he communed with them, saying, if it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me, and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Sokar, that he may give me at the cave of Machpelah, which he has, which is in the end of his field, for as much money as it is worth, he shall give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Cheth. And Ephron the Chitti answered, At Avraham, in the audience of the children of Cheth, even of all that went in at the gate of his city, saying, Nay, my lord, hear me. The field give I you, and the cave that is therein I give it you. In the presence of the sons of my people give I it you. Bury your dead. And Avraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spoke unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if you will give it, I pray you, hear me. I will give you money for the field. Take it of me and I will bury at my dead there. And Ephron answered at Avraham, saying unto him, My Lord, hearken unto me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that betwixt me and you? Bury therefore at your dead. And Avraham hearkened unto Ephron, and Avraham weighed to Ephron at the silver which he had named in the audience of the sons of Cheth, four hundred shekels of silver, current money with the merchant. And the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was before Mamre, the field and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, were made sure, unto Avraham for possession in the presence of the children of Cheth, before all that went in at the gate of his city. And after this, Avraham buried at Sarah his woman in the cave of the field of Machpelah, before Mamre. The same is Chevron in the land of Kinaan. And the field and the cave that is therein were made sure unto Avraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Cheth.